Hello, Mark Savage here. Welcome. Slightly different than the last presenter. Gloves are on. They don't make it easy, do they? The clutch. Mm. New one came, 40 hours, lovely. But trying to order parts. I've had a few people before message me saying, no, Mark, I can't find this, I can't find that. And, you know, I don't want to sound rude as if I can magically find it for them, because I only type in the same stuff they do. But, um, it is hard. You know, I, I typed in what I wanted. No, can't find it. It starts giving you loads of other stuff you don't want. And, and I don't get that recently. The amount of crap, you know, you type in clutch and you get hamster porn and bloody, I don't know, waste disposal in Ify Africa or wherever the fuck the put I, I don't know Ify Africa, where the fuck's that? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so I ordered one and it came. And I know that these are GY6 engines and it ended up, I had to start measuring it because they weren't identical information. But it turns out that they are identical which is absolutely great news and it wasn't a lot of money if i'm honest i think paid 29 pound for this clutch which is good and not broken and it wasn't in china because you just can't do that you know i keep checking now where it says um from where they are they normally got like manchester or somewhere which they're not and uh they normally say English hub and all that lot, which they're not. And you wait a week and then you email them and say, where is it? Please be patient. You know straight away when they answer one o'clock in the morning that they're not in England. However, can't knock this. I will uh, show you where I got this from at the end to GY6 engine parts. Let's just see whether it slips on or not. And now for the big moment. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. I can do this. Beep. Oh, that was a bit... I wasn't as low as I thought it was going to go. I thought it was going to be really low. <laughs> anyway, 19 teeth. <laughs> Bloody marvellous. That's really good. I am ecstatic now. So, let's stop bending down. That's good. This is junk. So let's give you a little bit of an update on this moto bugger. So let's just give you a little update of this little sinus. Um, clutch ordered, job done. The variator was actually, there was chip bits and everything else. It was a bit of a state. I've never seen one so poor. And the roller's damaged, so I reckon that when the belt snapped, it just, I don't know, obliterated, someone messed around with it, tried to do whatever roller, I don't know. Anyway, it's knackered, so ordered a new variator and a new clutch and rollers. Belt was good, um, but it doesn't stop there. I've been saying that I've been quite amazed with, you know, only 8,000 kilometres, um, the damage done. I wasted my life um, Monday popping down to Cambridge, a good hour away for this idiot who was selling a motorbike. Um, I'll be there, mate. I got there half hour early, in my defence. Um, little girl was there, answered the door, felt really sorry for her. It seems like his brothers do it all the time. He was on the phone, you know, 400 quid, um, logbook. He was on the phone. Listen, mate, uh, you know what I mean? Uh, 350 with a logbook, 250 without it. And stay on the phone. Who the f what the? So I had to look at it anyway, wasted my time. I didn't like the idea of taking it, but he wasn't there. I didn't like the idea of no logbook. Because um, that's different, you know. I have bought pegs with green slips. Um, if it's no logbook, you know it. You can trust the seller. This had just wrong all over it. And if I had given the girl, let's say, I don't know, £200 for it, because she'd say take anything, and... I went down the road and he went, well, I've got a logbook, you stole it, mate. You know, police, something else, so if it happens to you, just walk away. You know, wasted my two and a half hour a day, you know, all in, but it was better than having a ped, or a motorbike in this case, that could have been stolen, could have been accused of anything, you know? And that's the game you play. It's a, it's a world of pain out there at present minute. The amount of peds I'm seeing with the same excuses, oddly enough, it's, it's, it's rife over there on Facebook. 
I've just moved and lost the logbook. Um, I've only just got it and only got the green slip. Or oh, Dennis, I've had it ages but still only got the green slip. The other buyer didn't do it. I don't know what's going on out there. There's loads and loads of them out there with just green slips or no logbooks. And I'm really thinking now he walk away. The DVL out press a minute on strike and they uh, only do shorter days. You can wait up to nine weeks minimum now. Ain't just a month. We're talking two and a half months. That's a long time. My little Boration here. You know, this is ready to go. I've got two levers today. Same company. Oh, actually, there they are. Is that M25? I don't know. I'll, I'll look it up later. Anyway, that's the company that I bought this from. Same as, looks like M25 to me. MZ5, I don't know. Anyway, they're the ones. But two levers, really good value. I'm going to swap both of these so they're the same colour. That'll look a lot nicer. But only green slip. I've sent it away. Didn't have to pay the money. But unless I sell it to someone local who will trust me, you know, they can ride it. It's still taxed legally because I can't take out their name. Um, until I get a logbook, you know, they can have it, ride it, happy days, once it's insured, it's MOT and everything, job done. But it makes it awfully difficult, you know. This is Speed Fire 2. Nice lad, actually. Um, watch my videos, yay! But, I don't know what to do with it. No logbook, knowing how that's going to take, I'm just going to wrap it up and leave it. Um, maybe I'll find a decent one, take it all for spares, or when I'm bored and I've got rid of all this lot, you know, decide what to do with it. But yeah, no logbook, green slips, it's just really, really getting bad. However, I digress like I always do, sorry. 8,000 kilometres, I don't frigging think so. And what's this I hear you wonder? Some astute people might know. Astute? Clever? Speedo cable. It's not broken, it's got nothing in it. What the hell? 8,000, my arse. I mean, all right, I don't think it's been a pizza delivery one because the tyres are actually quite good. And the original tyres as well. So that probably broke ages ago. And this is what I said, someone's been under here, so they're wondering why the speed aren't working, so they just snap panels off. Good old cable tyres. <laughs> Bloody listen to me ranting on. It was only going to tell you the clutch fit. I'm in a good mood. Right, okay. I am going to cable tie, cut the cables up, that's what they're for, cabling cable ties. I'm going to put all the panels back on, I'm going to order another speedo cable, but guess what, I decided to spin the wheel and the speedo drive ain't working. Now I've done videos on speedo drives, and normally you've got to take the front wheel off, take it off, there's two tethers like as it were, they go back together again and they spin round, or it's the actual nut bit and it's knackered. Hmm, don't know, but I'm going to investigate that and see if that works. You can't be really said a about it. The front forks, I've got a little claw bit and you go round them and you get all the bits of rust and dirt out and that does work out well sometimes to hold them. I've had it many times before and we did it at the front forks. When the variator and rollers come, I'm going to get a belt on and then we're going to see this little baby run. I'm going to clean up the suspension, see what it does and job done there and hopefully it will run and do someone well for six months until the first MOT and it may need a few little bits for that depending on how I fix the front and rear suspension and then it just be a speedo cable might annoy a couple of people really anyway I'll check it all out stay with me this is taking a bit longer than I thought um, I have got to still do the tap and die set this came waited a little while for it it's quite a nice little set Ooh, nearly dropped it um, so I will be doing that to Speed Fight 4. That's the only reason why it's taken a long time because I was waiting for this. Um, the Speed Fight 3, remember? 4, 3, 2. <laughs> the Speed Fight 3, that was hard for me to say. Um, it runs. So I think after I do this sinus, I'm going to drag this one out. I've got some new panels coming. I found some white indicator side panels with the um, no indicators don't come with them, so I have to buy separate indicators. There's like 50, 60 quid's worth. Um, drag that out and give it a service, look at the rollers, do all the bits and bobs that I normally would and see if I get an MOT on it and then this baby can go and I can get back to this one. So it's taking a little longer, I did get a load in at the same time but I like doing that and you can pop it back and forth 
and it's not a business, you know, I just enjoy doing this little hobby, the speed fight too, I can do when I'm really bored, etc. It was just an update for you, really. Let's get back on with the Sinus. I bought a new variator and a new clutch. And the variator had brand new rollers in. And I've just fitted them to the bike. I've just got to tighten the nuts up. And that replaces this knackered one, which there's one broken here, look at that. You see that, how bad that is. That's just, as I said in the last video, junk. Well, I didn't say it, you know what I'm saying. Um, still good to keep the bell housing. This is still all right. If you can get the damn things apart, it was just easier buying the whole thing. Trying to get this nut off of here is hell. <laughs> you can't hold it at your feet, you can't turn it around, you're not going to have a big enough socket, it's bigger than 32. Just buy the whole thing, make life a lot, lot easier. But I will keep this for parts. And again for the variator, this was a bit tacky, but you could see that wasn't very good. And this, well, well that's not right is it? Shouldn't be wrapping around like a bitch like that. And this was all, well, that's really bad isn't it? That was all knackered inside as well. This is junk. That's uh, no good to nobody. Rubbish. So let me get this nice and tight on. Hold the outside, drill them tight. A uh, nice new belt, get the cover on, and let's see whether it starts and runs. Done the front shocks, cleaned them all up with the little trick I showed about clawing out all the old rust out of there and it does seal them again when you push them down. So that's done there, a bit more weight really in them. Uh, wrist suspension done, tyres pumped up, just seeing whether this will run or not. You have me saying, when taking the cover off, that uh, you should be careful about the nuts and put them in an order. Well, this was one of them. Bigger, smaller, smaller, smaller. But uh, I didn't take these off. But I have marinated them in WD-40 GP38. But I have marinated them in a maintenance spray before I put them back in. And now I've just got to guess which ones go in. So push them in. If they go too far, take that one out. If it sticks out too far, take that one back out. Yeah, ain't hard, is it? However, cover is on. Put the airbox tighten out. Let's see if it starts. Everything is back on. The problem with the bike in the first place, well, there's lots of problems, but mainly the back wheel was continually spinning, which meant that the clutch wasn't engaging. That brake lever a bit out of it. Let's see where it starts, shall we? So far, so good. Oh, wow. Back wheel's not going around. Not spinning, and stop. Perfect. That's lovely. Wow, it does run. It's very fast actually. I forget it's a 125 and not a 50. Job done. Yeah. Thank you so much. Please like, share and subscribe. Bye bye. Oh,